my channel Brandy Plans. I'm gonna be doing my March monthly in my Mickey and Minnie Happy Planner Classic. I'm gonna be using the sticker sheets from the Disney Happy Planner um, sticker book that I got. This is my planner that I use my Happy Planner sticker books in and actually um, my B6TN monthlies, I've been using the Happy Planner sticker books as well. So it's been kind of fun because it's a little bit different than using a kit. So I'm gonna use this whole page. I decided to use all of mini this page and I decided because it's International Women's Day this month and they don't really do green colors <laughs> for Mickey and Minnie. So it's not like I have a lot of green to pull from. But anyway, so I use my monthlies to, so I wanna keep St. Patrick's, like I basically wanna keep all of these visible. So I'm just gonna use these full boxes um, in these spaces. So I use my monthlies just to kind of memory keep, really, to be honest, um, what I have going on um, that month. And in this one particularly, I do a lot of memory keeping. So I'm just literally laying boxes down willy-nilly. I have no rhyme and no reason for what I'm doing. I'm gonna put mini right up in the corner. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I love it already and I haven't even done anything. Um, I want this here actually. Love yourself from your bow to your toe is what that says. Super cute. I'm basically going to put these quotes. I don't, mm, I don't want to put that there because it's going to go over. Let's put that there. mini there and we're just gonna put these boxes everywhere so March is kind of a big month for the 18 month happy planners come out in March now I don't know if you guys are as crazy as I am but I currently have a planner dilemma basically long story short I really don't know what I am going to do in regards to my planner lineup. So, I have my Mickey and Minnie planner, which is a 12-month planner, which I will be using all the way to December, and then I will get a new planner. I have my custom happy planner, and that one goes to July. However, saying that, sorry, I'm just trying to find the full boxes that I wanted to use. I think I'm going to use this one and this blue one. So I'm just picking my full boxes for the sidebar. I'm going to put her there. And then I'm going to put this one up here it is just a little let's just cut a little bit off so I have a planner dilemma this is so silly to have so I bought another 18 month planner last year. I've never used it. I still love it. I think it looks really beautiful. I want to use it. I'm just not sure how I'm going to use it. Okay, I really like this plan with me so far. Excuse me. We're gonna add. Hooray for today there. And life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. 
So this planner's not changing. My B6, I run out of pages in July, so I need to buy some more B6 pages from the Penny Pages. Again, that is not a problem at all because I love the Penny Pages and I that's not a problem. I'm gonna just buy some more Penny Pages. Um, but do I use my other 18 month planner? Um, and the other thing is I bought a six month extension pack for this Mickey and Minnie planner. And part of me really wants to use it too. So I'm kind of in dilemma. Do I just add the six months to the end of my custom planner and then make it out for a year and then just get another like December to December and not use my other 18 month planner? Or do I use my other 18 month planner and save the six month Mickey and Minnie to use at the end of this planner? I don't know, guys. I'm like really, really not sure what to do. So thoughts, comments, all welcome. You can never have too much mini in your life. So we're going to just put mini all over here. Where do I want to put her? I want to put her down here. Oh my gosh, she is just, she's just adorable. I just love her. Do I want her anywhere else, guys? I feel like she needs to be up there a little bit. Yeah. What do we think? I think that has Minnie written all over it. I love every bit of it. So I think I'm going to leave it. Oh my gosh, I think it's stunning. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this monthly plan with me. Definitely leave your comments below. I'm going to be doing my other monthlies and they'll all be in this video. So I think the next one that you'll see is my B6TN planner. And I'll be using a Happy Planner sticker book for that as well. Um, so I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Brandy Plans. Um, This is the second part of my monthlies um, plan with me's. I'm going to be doing my monthly in my Penny Pages B6 inserts. This is for my um, social media planner. I'm going to be using these date covers from Simply Beautiful Plans. I'm going to use the Botanicals sticker book from the Happy Planner. And I'm going to be using, I think, this washi from Simply Gilded. Although I did pull a lot of washi. <laughs> so... We'll see which one I use. You know me and Washi, you pull 600 and then you hope, you hope that that's the one you want. All right, so the very first thing is I decided kind of what I wanted for my sidebar. So now I just have to find it, of course. So I want to use this sticker for my sidebar is what I decided. And I'm going to put it, I really want this to be at the top. So I'm going to put this here like that. Like so. Okay. That's the first thing I really wanted to do. And then I think I'm going to put my washi next to it. I'm never sure. Oh, the bows, the bows go this way. Now, do we need to white out? We do not need to white that out. This part was kind of off, so it doesn't stick very well. So I'm going to cut all this excess off because it was not sticking very well. I love this washi. I think it's so pretty. Oh, for sure. I love it already. I love it, I love it, I love it. What did it just do? Oh, it's sitting right here. My washi cutter card. So I was talking in my other plan with me, my planner dilemma in July. Because the new 18 month planners are coming out and I love them. Love them. I I I always love the new planners. I always want a new planner. <sighs> I don't need a new planner because I already have a six month pack for my Mickey and Minnie that I could extend my 18 month planner with. And I also have an 18 month planner I bought last year 
that I haven't used that I could totally use for the 18 months. So do I just use what I have or do I pick from these really pretty planners that are going to come out this next month? I'm just looking to see what day March starts on. So I'm just going to put, it starts on the 1st and goes all the way to the 31st, which is a Wednesday. So to here. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So we need to fill those in with date covers, but full boxes for everything else. All right, so we are going to use the same washi at the bottom, but I'm actually going to cut it off. Oh my gosh, am I going to cut it off? Yes, I am going to cut it off. So we're going to do this. I know, guys, hold the phone. This is kind of crazy talk here, what's happening. I'm going to do that. How am I going to measure that I did that? Um, this is <laughs> this is how you do stuff the way that Brandy does it, where you just guess. There's no measuring. There's no <laughs> no lines. None of that jazz. You just guess. You just wing it and guess. Actually, I'm just going to fold it over because I don't actually use these other sides. I don't think what's on this side. Yeah, I don't use the other sides. And if I do, I usually it's just my scribbling. So a little extra cute washi won't matter. Okay, I really like that. And then I'm going to use, ooh, I got a bunch of stuff on the sides, but I wanted to use these really pretty botanicals. Here. Like that. And then I'm going to cut this one. Like that. Then I'm going to cut this one in half. I kind of want to cut it sh a little bit straighter. And then I'm just going to put it there like that. There. Okay, I really like that. Okay, and then I think I want to use this pink flower. I'm going to put it there. one there. Okay, that's really cute. And then I want to put um, I'm just looking because I kind of want some script. Like at the moment, I don't have any like writing. And I have some weekend banners, but I don't really want weekend banners. So I'm kind of looking at just something that's like a nice, pretty, like saying and or script. But of course, it's the botanical books. So everything is botanical. Like everything is botanical. <laughs> botanical 
<sighs> so it's not making it the easiest to pick because I have like 600 weekends. Like best weekend ever. I could use these little, maybe I'll use this. I'm gonna do hello today. Then we're gonna put happiness over here. That's super cute. And then part of me wants to add more floral. Um, oh, here it is. This is really cute. Uses that same purple flower. Okay, I really like that. Okay, and we're gonna just add some of this washi. That is the excess. Over here. Just to let the washi tie in. Mm. I was debating whether I was going to put that there, but I don't want to. Do I want to put a... I don't think I want to put that there. This is not wanting to stay folded, so I may have to do something about that. Okay, that's really cute. Okay, I just keep thinking I want like a sticker in that box, in this box here. But it has to be the right size. Here we go. Let's do this one. Live well. Okay, I really like that. Okay, let's do March. Now the thing is, these are quite large these months. I think they're stunning, but they are quite large. But look at that. March, beautiful. That is beautiful. I think that's it. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Okay, so that is my B6 monthly. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really pretty. I love these florals. I think it is stunning. Okay, so this is the second part of three part. I have my monthly and my custom happy planner left to do. Um, and that will be in a little bit and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. I just Bye. wanted to quickly show you how the spread in my B6TN um, monthly turned out with me putting the date numbers down. So I just used gold date numbers from the Prairie Planner um, and it obviously makes it feel a little bit more full and more like a calendar. Um, so I think it turned out really pretty. I hope you guys liked it. But <laughs> let's move on to my monthly and my custom happy planner. So zoom out. I am going to be using this kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. Um, I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit more. I love, 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 love this kit. So much, love this kit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is white out March. And I am gonna use the rest of my whiteout from my old whiteout ruler, which I dislike immensely, <laughs> but I am gonna use it. Although I think it's almost done. Oh, not quite. Almost done. I bought this monthly kit and I have another one coming in the mail from Shop Jessica Hearts. 
I just think it is stunning, this watercolor. I think I'm gonna put the house on this side. And again, because it is designed for an Erin Condren, the top comes down further than if it was designed for a happy planner. So you kind of have to be mindful of that, that you have to, your boxes at the top, so depending on whatever you use it for, are going to be different. Like they're gonna be smaller and you're gonna have to renumber them. Mandatory, you have to renumber them. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this. And again, the Happy Planner boxes are taller, like the actual date boxes are taller than the other boxes. So as you can see, I still have a space here. It's beautiful though. And whoop. It's almost as if she thought about that because look at what I'm gonna do with this washi strip. I am just gonna use that. I gotta find my washi cutter. My washi cutter is from Fox and Cactus, just to let you know. Lay that down. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right. Now I'm gonna do my sidebar. I have no idea which one is supposed to go on the top. <laughs> ah! Let's put I don't think they're meant to go it's almost like they're meant to have I feel like this one should go on the bottom though. Yeah. I should white that out. Okay, let's find my white out. Okay. And we're gonna put this one at the bottom. Like so. And then I'm gonna put this one at the top. Like so. And I'm gonna put something in between them. Like so. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm putting between them, but something. Let's put a box. Let's find a very functional box to go between them. Pink, green, green. Green needs to go between them. Two greens need to go between them. Like so. Stunning. Okay, I love that. Okay, we are going to put these three boxes down for sure. And then again, in no particular rhyme or reason. And then we're gonna lay down all of these boxes. I do need to put one there. I have this one but I feel it needs to be cut off. We're gonna put it here, like so. I'm wondering if I should just trim it. There. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and then we're just going to go across with these other boxes. And 
And I just wanna make sure that I cover up the ones that have like an actual date in them because I want to use the um, clear overlay dates that come in the kit. So I wanna make sure that I cover like St. Patrick's Day, I cover like Passover, that kind of stuff. And St. Patrick's Day needs to be green, it just does. Spring Begins needs to be pink. Again, no reason whatsoever, it just does for no good reason. I have no rhyme or reason for like why I choose and or pick to do things. It just is what it is. We just, we just wing it over here uh, on my side of the desk. Because I just love the color. I just want color in my planner. I want lots and lots of color. So that's why I put all these things down. Because I want the color to show through. I almost have enough for like every single day. Which is kind of nice. Let me put this green here. And I am gonna put date covers in this planner. I just don't know what color date covers I'm gonna use. Okay. And then we're gonna use these headers. On this side to fill in the gaps. This one is crooked, so we're going to fix it, like so. Okay. Okay, that's really pretty. Okay, I really like that. And then we're going to just use some flakes. And again, I have no rhyme or reason. I just like putting the stickers on the paper because I think it's pretty. <laughs> That's it. That's my only rhyme or reason. Okay, I have a bunch of bill dues, which I'm not going to use. Oh, I have more boxes. Do I use them? It's a lot of boxes. And I have circle I. These are for icons. Okay, let's put... Oh, I have more of these flakes. These are really pretty. I have Bill Dews. I still have this washi, which I think I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the washi and stuff. Let's put these down. So I have March... It goes over here. And then I have, how am I starting my calendar, guys? <laughs> thoughts, 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 thoughts. Sunday, I usually do a Sunday start. So we're gonna put Sunday here. Monday and I got to pick the foil color as well and I pick silver Tuesday I know I'm gonna mess this up which is like driving me nuts I'm so scared about what I'm doing right now because I'm so scared I'm gonna mess it up Wednesday so that's why I'm saying it out loud because <laughs> yes I know the days of the week Thursday, you can't really see the silver in the green. Friday, I should have picked like a rose gold. Saturday, okay. And I'm actually not gonna, I have an overview, but I'm not gonna put that down. 
Okay, so St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. And I actually need my other planner. Because, of course, I just covered up all the days. Okay, so International Women's Day is the 8th. And put that there. Daylight savings is the 14th. So put this here. And then spring begins on the 20th. And then Passover is the 27th. And Palms Sunday. What day is Palm Sunday? Is that the same as Passover? I will figure that out. Okay, uh, again, I don't, I only use this to memory keep. So we are going to use this cute bow just because, and we're going to use this heart. on the I need to put a cake there on the 18th okay so I don't use anything else and then I have this oh I want to use this bow so I'm going to put that bow there and then I have this home sweet home and we're going to put that up here Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I wish I would have used a different foil though, guys. I don't think the silver is doing it justice. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Okay, I'm gonna put the date dots, dot, date dots, date dots down. Cause you don't need to watch me do that. Trust me, it's very tedious. And then I'm gonna show you my final product and this will be the end of it. Okay, so I'll be okay, right back. Okay guys, so that's the date dots on my March monthly um, using the kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. Um, I think it turned out stunning. I love, 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 love the pictures of the cottage um, and it's called Country Cottage. Um, I think it turned out amazing. The only thing I think I would have changed is I would have changed my foil color to rose gold or gold just so it stands out more. But other than that, I, I think it's just beautiful. I hope you guys feel the same way. Um, so that's the end of my monthly haul, not haul, but my monthly plan with me videos for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click like and subscribe down below. Tell your friends and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment on which planner you think I should use or if I should just buy a new planner. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.